everyone, welcome back. My name is Zosha. Today I am going to show you an easy way to create great grainy gradient backgrounds in Photoshop. If you watched my tutorial about creating abstract gradient shapes, this uses a similar method and I think it's one of the easiest ways to create gradients in Photoshop. And if you'd like to use some of the gradients I've created, there's a link to download them for free in the description. So I've opened a new Photoshop project and I'm gonna leave the background white, but I'm gonna unlock this layer so I can paint on it. I'm gonna take a black brush and just start painting on a bit of black. It doesn't matter exactly how it looks now, or just, just to get us started. All right, I'm gonna add a gradient map on top of this. So go down to adjustment layers and add a gradient map and click in here and you can use one of the presets or create one of your own. I'm gonna use one that I've created down here and you can easily just switch between the colors. I'll use this one for now. And I can see that there's already a bit of banding here, which is where you can see lines within the gradient and it's not perfectly smooth. I'm gonna fix this by going to image mode and switch to 16 bits. And then to remove the banding that is currently there, I'm gonna click on the first layer and go up to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And then that will get rid of the banding. Okay, so without the gradient map, it's just a black and white gradient. And I'm only gonna adjust this layer. So make sure you have black and white colors selected over here and you can switch between them by hitting X on your keyboard. And you can start to just make a different shape. So I'm gonna turn back my on my gradient map. And so I can see what I'm doing. And this is just a fun way to create a custom gradient, abstract gradient with only using black and white brushes. Now I'm gonna add a layer of grain on top of everything so that I can continue to adjust the gradient without it affecting the noise. So I'm gonna add a new layer and select color 808080, fill this layer and then right click to convert to smart object, change the blend mode to overlay, and then go to filter, noise, and add noise. And you can add as much as you like. This seems like a good amount right there, seven. Another way you can distort the underlying layer is using the liquify tool. I first wanna make sure I have a good amount of black on there. So I'm gonna turn off the gradient map. I'm just gonna increase these blacks by adjusting my levels. So I'm gonna hit command L to get to my levels and just pull up these blacks. So I have a little bit more there. Press okay. And then I'm gonna to go to filter, liquify. And liquify is a good way to create a little bit more of an abrupt change in some of the colors while it's still feeling pretty smooth. So I'll show you here. So here you can see you can like drag the colors into each other I'll show you another few tricks. So I'm gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna change my paint bucket to the gradient tool over here. So right click and choose gradient tool. Change this gradient to black and white. And then you can drag to create a gradient on this layer. And if I turn off my gradient map, you see it's just black and white. I'm gonna change this layer into a smart object. So right click and convert to smart object so that we can edit any of the changes that we're making. I'm gonna go to filter and I'm gonna play with some of these distort options. I'm gonna start with shear. So here you can pull these points to the left and right to create a really interesting wave pattern. Like that. Creates that sort of distortion can make it even more extreme. Something like that. 
I'm gonna remove the shear by pulling it into the trash can. And another one I like to use is filter, distort, and twirl. And you can change this amount to create this really interesting twirl like that. Make it more subtle like that. And remember, you can go always go back into your gradient map and change the colors to create a completely new look using the same black and white underlying layer. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new about creating gradients in Photoshop. Be sure to grab your free downloads in the link below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.